Okay, so good day my dear STEM students. For today, we'll be discussing all about stoichiometry or the quantitative relationship of reactants and products in a chemical reaction. So in this lesson, you should be able to uh, con construct mole ratios from balanced equation and then solve stoichiometric worded problem, namely mole to mole, mass to mole or mole to mass and mass to mass stoichiometric calculations. Okay, so in solving stoichiometric problem, you have to construct first mole ratios from balance equation. So I have here a complete uh, balanced chemical equation. Okay, so how to interpret this balanced chemical equation? You will interpret this as one mole of magnesium hydroxide reacts with one mole of sulfuric acid to produce one mole of magnesium sulfate and two moles of water. Okay, so uh, pag nire-read tong ganitong klase ng uh, chemical equation, if you're going to interpret this, so 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide, 1 mole is based on the stoichiometric coefficient of magnesium hydroxide. As you can see, in this given uh, chemical formula, there is no uh, numerical coefficient, so understood yan ay 1. Okay, 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide reacts with yung plus sign kapag i-convert na yan sa English sentence yung plus sign ang ibig sabihin niyan reacts with 1 mole of sulfuric acid okay to produce this is the symbol to produce yields gives 1 mole of magnesium sulfate and 2 moles of water this time kapag nasa product side na kayo hindi na reacts with ang basa doon sa plus sign ng product side. Ang basa na dito is end. Dito, reacts with. So, this is how you interpret. Okay. How to construct a mole ratio from balanced equation? So, ang mole ratio, okay, so, since ang first natin na chemical formula sa reactant side is magnesium hydroxide, you're going to write 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide, okay, and then, ipapartner niyo siya kay sulfuric acid. So, for every 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide, there is 1 mole of sulfuric acid based on the balanced chemical equation. And this 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide over 1 mole of sulfuric acid is stoichiometrically equivalent dun sa kabaliktaran niya. Okay, yung reciprocal niya. That is 1 mole sulfuric acid over... 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide. So, nagbalik na lang siya. This time, yung 1 mole of sulfuric acid, siya ngayon yung nasa numerator. Yung 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide, siya yung nasa denominator. And this two sets of mole ratio is stoichiometrically equivalent to one another. So, ang basa sa symbol na to is stoichiometrically equivalent to. Okay. So, next. So, huwag muna tayong aalis doon sa magnesium hydroxide kasi we need to construct mole ratio from this 3 hanggang doon sa product. So, rewrite nyo lang ulit. 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide but this time, you will use 1 mole of magnesium sulfate kasi na-partner nyo siya kay sulfuric acid kanina. Ngayon naman, doon naman kay magnesium sulfate over magnesium sulfate. And that is uh, stoichiometrically equivalent to 1 mole of magnesium sulfate over 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide. So, in this uh, example, we already have uh, 4 sets of mole ratio. And then next, magnesium hydroxide, 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide over, doon naman tayo sa 2 moles of water. And that is stoichiometrically equivalent to 2 moles of water over 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide. Okay, next. So, tapos na tayo kay uh, magnesium hydroxide. Ito na tayo kay sulfuric acid. So, for every 1 mole of sulfuric acid, yung blue na arrow, papartner natin siya kay magnesium sulfate. So, for every 1 mole of sulfuric acid, there is 1 mole of magnesium sulfate produced and that is stoichiometrically equivalent to 1 mole of magnesium sulfate over 1 mole of sulfuric acid. And then next, 1 mole of sulfuric acid over 2 moles of water and that is stoichiometrically equivalent to 2 moles of water over 1 mole of sulfuric acid. Okay, and then, dito na tayo sa last, sa product. 
2 moles of um, water over 1 mole of magnesium sulfate, itong yellow na arrow. That is stoichiometrically equivalent to 1 mole of magnesium sulfate over 2 moles of water. So, therefore, for this reaction, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 mole ratios. Okay, in constructing mole ratios, so since ito ay 12, hindi nyo naman yan gagamitin lahat. Depende yan kung ano yung needed lang doon sa problem, kung ano lang yung pinapagawa sa inyo. You, need, you do not need to construct all the 12 mole ratios. The important thing is, alam nyo na each substances is related to one another in a given balanced chemical equation. So, let us have the first example. So, in stoichiometry, that is the study of mass mole relationship in a chemical formula or reaction. Okay, so in our first example, let us have the mole-to-mole -mole stoichiometric calculations. So, in the mole-to-mole -mole stoichiometric calculations, so you have to convert mole of a given substance to the mole of the unknown substance. So, for example, in the complete combustion of methane, the symbol is carbon, uh, carbon and hydrogen, CH4, carbon dioxide and water are produced based on the balance equation. So, in uh, uh, before you solve any stoichiometric problem, make sure that the given uh, uh, chemical formula or chemical equation is always balanced. Okay? So, huwag kayo magpo-proceed kagad doon sa mathematical computation if the given chemical reaction is not balanced. Okay? So, we have here in the complete combustion of methane, always remember in the combustion of hyd uh, hydrocarbons, CH4 is an example of a hydrocarbon, the indicator that this is a complete combustion if the product of uh, this reaction is always carbon dioxide and water. Ibig sabihin, that is a complete combustion. Kapag hindi siya carbon dioxide, naging carbon monoxide siya, CO lang, plus water, that is an incomplete combustion. Okay, yun yung indicator ninyo. So, complete and incomplete combustion. How many moles of oxygen gas are needed in order to produce 12, uh, 2.15 moles of water assuming the reaction takes in its completion? Okay, so the first step is to construct your mole ratio. Okay, since ang nakalagay lang naman sa problem ninyo na substances ay oxygen gas and water, yun lang ang titignan ninyo doon sa balance chemical equation. Yun lang ang gagawa nyo ng mole ratio. So, ang mole ratio nyo is for every 2 moles of oxygen gas, there is 2 moles of water, and that is stoichiometrically equivalent to 2 moles of water over 2 moles of oxygen gas. Ito lang yung kailangan yung mole ratio. Okay? So, that is your mole ratio A, and then this is your mole ratio B. Bakit meron tayong tinatawag na mole ratio A, mole ra ratio B? Depende kasi yan kung ano yung gagamitin nyo pag kayo yung nag-compute na. So, always remember na if you need to cancel any unit, all the unwanted units are placed in the denominator. Okay? So, for example, dimensional analysis, this is your computation map. So, the relative amount, ito yung given sa problem. Okay, so note since the unit need to be cancelled is mole of water, we will use mole ratio A in our computation map. Kasi, ito yung dapat makancel. Yun kasi yung given. So, ang gagamitin natin is mole of oxygen gas over mole of water. That is the mole ratio A. So, this is how to compute. So, your relative given value is 2.15 moles of water, you will multiply this with the mole ratio, which is 2 moles of oxygen gas divided by 2 moles of water. And then you cancel the unit of mole. Mole of water. Okay? So, pag kinu-compute na to, you will use your calculator. Do not forget to press the equal sign for every operation. Let's say, for example, you have 2.15 times 2 moles. Okay? So, 2.15 times 2 equals divided by 2. Huwag niyong kakalimutan mag-equal, mag-press ng equal uh, sign for every operation. And then, you will get 2.15 moles of oxygen gas. Okay? 
Next example, mole mass stoichiometric calculations. Okay, consider the balanced chemical equation below. So this is our balanced chemical equation. So calculate the mass of magnesium hydroxide needed to react in order to produce 5.12 moles of water. Okay, so that is one mole. This is how to interpret one mole of magnesium reacts with two moles of hydrochloric acid to produce one mole of magnesium chloride and two moles of water. And then take note, since meron na tayong mass, involved na ang mass, magkukompute na kayo ngayon ng molar mass of the substances present in the reactant and product side. So, depende pa rin yun kung ano yung nakalagay dun sa problem. So, since sa given problem natin, magnesium hydroxide and water, yun lang ang kukumpita nyo ng molar mass. Magnesium hydroxide and water lang. Hindi nyo naman kailangan kumpitin lahat yan kung hindi nyo naman din siya kailangan. So, kung ano lang yung nakalagay sa problem, yun lang. So, the uh, molar mass of magnesium uh, hydroxide is 58 gram per mole. Okay? And then, for water, that is 18 gram per mole. So, ang water, how to compute for the molar mass? So, the molar mass, hydrogen, the atomic mass of hydrogen, and the periodic table value is 1 times 2. So, that is 2 plus the molar mass or the atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16. Kaya 2 plus 16, you will get 18 gram per mole. Okay? So, the mole ratio, kailangan lang natin is magnesium hydroxide and water. So, yun lang ang lalagyan nyo ng mole ratio. Okay? So, this is your computation map or your dimensional analysis so, the relative given value in given sa problem, that is 5.12 moles of water, you will multiply it to the mole ratio, that is the stoichiometric coefficient from the balance equation. So, eto yun. So, since na water ang given natin at need to be cancelled, ang gagamitin nating mole ratio is this one, the mole ratio A. Kasi, yung mole ratio A, nasa baba, ang, nasa denominator ang water. So, you will use for every 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide, there is 2 moles of water. And then, cancel yung moles of water. And then, next, you will multiply it since ang kailangan natin ng mass. I-involve na natin ngayon this time yung molar mass of the unknown substance. Okay, that is 58 gram per mole for every 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide. So, depende pa rin to. Pwede yung 58 grams nasa denominator. Yung 1 mole of magnesium, pwede naman nasa taas. Depende kung ano na yung unwanted unit ninyo. Since this time, the unwanted unit is 1 mole of magnesium, ilalagay natin yung 1 mole of magnesium sa denominator in order to cancel this one. Okay? So, kung na-cancel na lahat ng unwanted unit, ang matitira dyan is grams. Kasi sinabi, calculate the mass of magnesium. Kaya ang end unit nyo is the unit of mass. And then, use your calculator. 5.12 times 1 equals divided by 2 equals times 58 equals divided by 1 equals 148 gram magnesium hydroxide. And then, take note, paano malalaman ng final answer kung hanggang 8 saan yung number na kukunin nyo sa calculator. So, since ang starting amount natin is 3 significant figures, ang final answer should be 3 significant figures also. Para di kayo mahihirapan kung anong ba yung mga numbers na ilalagay nyo kapag nilagay nyo na yung final answer. Okay? Next. So, mass to mole stoichiometric calculations. So, mass to mole, kanina mole to mass. So, mag start kayo kanina sa mole, mag end kayo sa mass. Ngayon, mag start kayo sa mass, ang end unit nyo ngayon is mole. So, the only difference in this particular uh, stoichiometric calculation is babalik na rin nilang yung mga substances present in your dimensional analysis. Okay? So, let us have the same uh, balanced equation. So, this time, calculate the mole of magnesium hydroxide needed to react in order to produce 5.12 grams of water. Okay. So, ito yung interpretation natin. Okay. So, that is 58, 36, 94, and then 18 gram per mole. Since magnesium hydroxide lang and water, yun lang ulit ang gagamitin natin molar masses sa ating 
calculations. Okay? And then, you construct your mole ratio. Since magnesium hydroxide lang siya in water, yun lang din yung nasa inyong mole ratio. So, your computation map or dimensional analysis. So, the relative given value is 5.12 grams of water. So, since grams yung nakalagay dito, gagamitin na natin kagad yung molar mass in order to cancel the unit of grams in the given value. So, since this is 5.12 grams water, gagamitin nyo na is 18 gram per mole. And that is the molar mass ratio of the given substance. Okay? So, for every 1 mole of water, there is 18 grams water. So, this time yung grams naman yung nasa baba kasi yung grams ang kailangan nating i-cancel. Okay? And then, the next step is the mole ratio or the stoichiometric coefficient from the balanced equation. Ito na yun. So, ano yung kailangan natin ma-balance? Ang kailangan ay ma-cancel. Ang kailangan natin ma-cancel is 1 mole of uh, water. So, asan ba ang water? So, ito yung sa mole ratio A. So, ito ang lalagay natin sa dulo ng inyong dimensional analysis in order to cancel the moles of water. And then, use your calculator. 5.12 times 1 equals divided by 18 equals times 1 equals divided by 2 equals and you will get 0 0.142 moles magnesium hydroxide. Take note, ang starting amount is 3 significant figures. The final answer should be also 3 significant figures. This is 1, 4, 2. Okay, so this is 3 significant figures. In this uh, uh, final answer, the 0 is not uh, considered significant because all leading zeros are not considered significant. Okay? So, hindi significant yan. Only the non-zero digits are considered significant. Nagiging significant lang ang zero if siya ay trailing zero, yung nasa dulo, yung number, or the zero is in between two non-zero digits. Doon lang siya magiging significant. Pero kapag ang zero nasa left side ng decimal uh, point, uh, the zero here is not considered significant. Okay, so 5.12 has 3 significant figures. The final answer should also be 3 significant figures. Okay, so let us proceed. This is mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometric calculations. So this in this mass-to-mass, -mass, uh, mag-start uh, mag kayo sa mass na unit and then you will end pa rin sa unit ng mass. Let's have the same chemical equation. Calculate the mass of magnesium hydroxide needed to react in order to produce 5.12 grams of water. Okay, so these are the interpretations, the molar mass, and then construct the mole ratio needed. Okay, and then computation map or your dimensional analysis. Okay, so the relative given value that is 5.12 grams of water, in your given the problem. Multiply the molar mass ratio of the given substance. Since ito ay water, so the molar mass ratio is for every 1 mole of water, there is 18 gram uh, water. Okay? Based doon sa molar mass ng water. And then you cancel the grams. And then you will next multiply it to the mole ratio. This is a stoichiometric coefficient from the balance equation. So, since ang water ang nandito, need to be cancelled. Pag pumili kayo sa dalawa, kailangan ang water ang nasa baba. Okay? So, you will use 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide over 2 moles of water in order to cancel the unit of moles of water. And then finally, you will uh, multiply the molar mass ratio of the unknown substance. So, the unknown substance is calculate the mass of magnesium hydroxide. So, well, you will use now for your last uh, procedure is the molar mass ratio of the unknown which is magnesium hydroxide and that is for every 58 grams of magnesium hydroxide you will have 1 mole of magnesium hydroxide para makancel yan and then calculator 5.12 times 1 equals and then divided by 18 equals times 1 equals divided by 2 equals times 58 equals and then divided by 1 equals and then you will get 8.25 grams magnesium hydroxide so this is 3 significant figures and your uh, starting amount is also 3 significant figures 
Okay? So, I hope you understand this lesson, although na nakakalito siya at first, pero uh, practice lang ng practice. Okay? So, I hope you are all doing great and uh, see you in the next lesson.